I'm only doing this menial job so that I can save up some money and go back to school someday. Cassava is very lucrative in this part of the community. of a woman. Mind if I took a seat beside you? Mm. Of course not. You can sit. Ah, you're blind. Oh. Take my hand. So, what are you doing here? W waiting for someone? Yeah, my husband-to-be. We're getting married and going to live far away and live happily ever after, just like we've always dreamed. Dreams. Life always gives us strange dreams. But it always teaches us certain lessons too. Would you mind reading me a book while we wait for your husband to be? Mm, that's okay. Please. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, life is not the game. Okay. Now, there are eight pragmatic definitions of life that will definitely get you thinking. The first is by a man. In his own words, life is a script. A script in which we have the privileged liberty of deciding the characters we want to play.
now to the second definition of life. Life is a puzzle, a puzzle to which we must always find answers. Look, I've been lodged into a hotel for two weeks now. I really need you to do me this favor. Right now, my life is in shambles and I desperately need to put the pieces together. Please, please don't mock me. I, I know I've made mistakes that you haven't made. I know you are so perfect while I'm a complete mess. All I ask for it's a roof over my head. Please. Fine. I didn't exactly know you had company. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Andrew. It's a nice name. Um, actually, I'm leaving for Accra. I just came for my back. I've been away for quite some time. Do I need to tell you, you won't be missed? I'll be flattered if you did. The last time I checked, my ass was bigger than hers. I presume you're working late. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I had a very long meeting with my partners from Russia. You know the oil guys. Remember Mr. Dmitry Yuvkov? We met him at the restaurant some time ago. It was like, oh, my beautiful wife. Uh, it looks like my wife back in Russia. I called the office. Your secretary told me you didn't turn up for work today. So where did you meet with Mr. Dmitry? Why didn't you say yeah, yes? Your beautiful wife. I owe you no explanation. Like hell you do. Not until you tell me the reason why you're coming back at this time of the night! Oh, I can see you're in the mood for some beating tonight. Well, be very, very careful what you wish for. You might just get it. And you wouldn't dare. You would not dare! No one like that! Zaina. This is... Andy. My husband. Andy, this is Zaina. My estranged half-sister. 
should be staying with us for a while. So get used to the idea. Good evening, sir. It's my pleasure to meet you. What? That's the size of my hips. Oh. Is there a remote possibility that you think I'll tell your wife about your little escapade the other night? Or is this look I see in your eyes a brush off of guilt? Come on, Andy. Make sure to your wife every now and then. It is nothing to be ashamed of. <sighs> it was just a thing, all right? <laughs> and nothing happened. <laughs> now, why do I get this feeling that you mean that's not as a defense, but a direct part of me? <sighs> you know, I couldn't help it but notice you staring at me the other night. Wait. And honestly, I did sense a little spark of attraction between us. But that was when we thought we were strangers, wasn't it? So we both know that nothing can happen between us. Suddenly. Playing games? No. Playing by the rules. Even though when I look at you, I feel a tingle in my pants. But it's up to you to part my legs open. I am pregnant. <laughs> you know, you, you're really good at these things. You know, in the way. I mean, you're good. <laughs> Andy, I am not fooling around. I am four weeks pregnant. <laughs> I have the test results in my bag. I can prove it. Your four weeks what? <laughs> Why didn't you take that thing out the minute you found out? Angie, this thing is your seed, your child, a baby! Listen, Zina, I, you know that. Don't you give me the same one on your life being complicated, Andy. I thought you really loved me. I thought this whole aim was for us to be together. I thought you said you no longer feel a thing for her. I thought you were fed up with the marriage! Well, I am. Then prove it! <sighs> Ask for divorce. I just need time to sort things out, alright? Please, just give me some time.
Andy, from now on, I'll sort whatever needs to be sorted out. She's in the gym. It's everything all right. Not when the woman I call my wife goes around telling everyone who cares to listen that I'm a cheat. Well, no apologies, Andy. Because you are worse than a cheat. to talk about about us our marriage I want to know why it has become so impossible for us to live in the same house I want to know why it has become impossible for us to live in peace I want to know why the love we once had has turned into bitterness and regret. I want to know what will cost me to make you love me again. I know this might sound a little bit out of place, but believe me, it hurts me so much that things have gotten bad between us. Well, I'm tired. I'm tired of all this. Enough of the strain. Enough of the damage caused on our marriage. Ella, why, Ella, why, why, why don't you just correct the mistakes in the past? Oh, baby. Ella, I'm so sorry, but I want a divorce. So what should I rather do? So how long should I continue to try? 
the more I stayed married to her, the more she becomes hurt, the more I become hurt. I mean, come on. It's just not working. Five years. Five long years of living my life for one man. Serving him and and honoring him. I have taken beatings. I have nursed bruises. I have had miscarriages. All in the hope that that one day he will look me in the eye and tell me how much how much he realizes that that I love him. No, I've not been a fool. I've been a fool. I know how you feel, sister. I know how much of pain you've concealed within your heart. But if the truth be told, this marriage was over a long time ago. And he doesn't love you. Not anymore. Someone took him away from me, Zaina. Someone stole his love away from me. I need to find his dad's pictures. Hi, I'm looking for someone. His name is Copio. People call him that around here. Never heard the name. Hey, I'm trying to have a nap here, alright? And besides, these are my tracks. You're not supposed to be on them. So spare me the sorry sight. And thank you very much. Scott, where can I find you? Well, if I were you, I wouldn't be mentioning that name around here. I thought you said you've never heard of him. Well, like your butt, I've seen a lot of things around. But I just keep forgetting. Good. I'll find him. Well, good luck. And good night. Told you you were not going to find him. Well, I guess today is not my lucky day. What are you? A friend or a foe? Which one do I look like? You look like a... Like a... Like a young girl in a piece of cloth. Are you Scorpion? Do I sound like him? Well, I have no impression of him, but I hear he's faceless. Well, he can be faceless, but not nameless. You can call me Jason. There's a shack down the road. You won't miss it. Wait for me there, I'll be right there.
My half sister who wants her husband trailed. She believes us cheating on her. Is he? Yes. With me. Now here's the plan. For a period of two weeks, she was seen trailing Andy. But instead of revealing me as the woman he's involved with, we'll create a little distraction by planting an imposter. Imposter? Do you have anyone in mind? Not exactly. I was hoping you could help. Try to get a roller coaster ride. Get with it. Run with it. Shake with it. Even play with it. But whatever you do, don't do with it. And if you gotta go, then rock with it. Girl, you wanna take a little ride with the mastermind. I wanna take you on a jolly good roller coaster ride. I need it in my body. Shake it up. Got a thorn in my body, shake it up. Got a feeling in my body, shake it up. Got a girl with that body, shake it up. At the end of two weeks, you hand over the pictures to her. And she fearing that her suspicion have been confirmed, will ask a series of questions like, How long have they been seeing each other? From investigations, they have been frequenting the Blueberry East Ligon Hotel for the better part of six months. Could be more. Perfect reply. You surely have it all scripted out. What makes you so sure she's going to play by your script? I know how she reasons. I know how her mind works. I even know what she'll do next. She's going to pay her a visit? Yes. She always likes to confront her problems. Yolanda, see you do. I presume. Yes. And who are you? I am the woman whose husband you are sleeping with. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that was so fucking scary. <laughs> Please, forgive my cynicism. I've always known that we were going to meet someday. But like this is no, I have never thought it was going to be so soon. Please, have a seat. Please. I imagine you seem to think adultery is quite trivial. But I'm a woman who does not easily forgive or forget. How much? Fifty thousand dollars. What? That's how much it will cost you for me to take my hands off Andy. Alarm? Look, darling. I am not about to take anybody's husband. I'm not exactly snatch a man and live with type. So I stick to what I can get. And by my modest standard, $50,000 is enough. <laughs> we settle somewhere else until the next fool, oh, sorry, the next man comes along. Don't you think? You want me to pay you to stop an innocent affair with my husband? Oh, hell no, darling. Are you kidding me? No. I actually want you to pay me to save your crumbling marriage. 
You are very unbelievable. Apparently, you have no dignity or shame. Do you want an honest answer, darling? No. Why? Because I belong to a society where survival is the only thing that counts. Come on now, give me credit. At least I'm not asking to take your place and become Mrs. Nadab or anything like that. All I want is 50 G's and I will walk. Mm. You wouldn't even know I was there. What guts? What impudence? What nonsense? What does she take you for? A fool? No. A desperate woman who would do anything to save her marriage. No, no, Ella. Don't tell me you consider letting her have the money. What other option do I have? What guarantee do you have that this will save your marriage? Tell me, what if she wants more money? What if Andy's heart is so far away from you that it cannot be bought back? What if she stops seeing him and I have a second chance to warm my way back into his heart? You are being irrational. You are being stupid. $50,000 is a small price to pay to correct our past mistakes. I'm sorry, sis. I'm just trying to stop you from making another silly mistake. But if you ask me, I think there's a better way to handle this. You can have my cup, you can have my ring. I have new blood bags. Please, just don't hurt me. Please, please. You can have my cup too. <laughs> Jesus, Jane. <laughs> oh, God. Damn you. You're so fucking good. Well, I didn't have to touch you, honey. Miss me? No, I don't. I've been too busy fucking handing a dab. Baby, for how much longer will I keep doing this? Baby, I miss you. I miss us. Us? Us is a broken ass couple. Living in the slums in Lagos, that's us. Quit being a bitch, please. Look at you, you're going five star shopping, driving five star cars. I can't give you that. We're just at the finish line of wrapping up this deal, and this is a big fish. I don't want you stepping into this game with some maudlin' shit. Do not mess up this soon coming party with flimsy emotions, please. Flimsy emotions, Jay? You are so fucking self-centered! God! We have hit five bills just like this in the past. Yet in the promise of us getting married is nowhere in sight! How long is it going to take you to get a simple fact in your face, girl? How long? I've said it, I'm not going to say it again.
आज कल हमने की यू मैसेज आप प्रॉमिस यू इफ दिस मनी गेट्स इन टू दिगी बैंक यू एंड आई विल बी लिस्निंग टू चर्च बेल्स रेंगे Swear to you, baby. Swear by our unborn child. Swear. I'm two weeks pregnant. I didn't know how to tell you. I swear. Say it again. <laughs> Jay, say it again. I swear This is the face I was hoping to see. I have your money and we need to talk. The hardest part wasn't coming to terms with the fact that I'm paying you to stay away from my husband, nor the money, by rationalizing my actions. I need guarantee. I need to know there's a beginning to an end. I need to assure myself that I wouldn't have to come find you and put a bullet through your head. Oh. Nice one. You are actually smarter than I thought. Hold on. Did I just say I? Well, I meant we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My um, well, my oh, la la. Why? I don't go in my glasses. Come on, don't freak out. We're in the same boat here. Only this time, this boat is way bigger than the Titanic. And you know where this ship is sailing to? To a place with these dollar green, gold-plated fantasy we are all chasing after, just to be Bill Gates. Something we all adore. One thing worth dying for. Nothing but pain, stuck in this game, searching for fortune and sometimes fame. All right, enough with the gimmicks. You know, honestly, I never seen a woman so bent on saving a marriage. You really don't deserve to be cheated on by anybody. The same way, I don't deserve to share this money. With anyone else, nobody. Hold on, Jay. Is this some kind of sick joke? What the? Fuck? Shut up, honey bunny. I want you to lock the front door and give me the keys. This one. Do it. Oh, greed. It's a pathetic emotion. It creeps upon you like cancer, and now I have it, and you know why. 
almost legitimately sublime experience which is utterly complete. Fucking another woman's husband. Lock the door and give me the keys. Now. Come on, baby. Now. Do it. There you go. Come on, honey. Yeah. Come on, honey, you don't want to yell. Please give me the keys. Give me the bloody key! Make it up, quickly. I'm going to show you that if you let me go, I won't tell anybody that I know you. I won't even tell anybody that I know you. Shut up, honey, You're going to go. I am going to let you go. Before you leave, I have to make a call. Oh, gosh, look, I missed one. Maybe what I need. Mean. Yes, hi. This is number 27B, Chrysland Estate. Well, there's a little bit of a situation down here. Apparently, there's a young lady who's going to be murdered. Now, only and only if you can make it on time, you probably will save someone's life. So just for once, be on time, you fools. Don't you swear words. Ring the top. Jesus died for you. Hey baby, you will come down. Are you in? is available to those who reach for it. And my wants are available to the man who can take them off. Oh, 
Seriously, my my car is parked out. No, no, come see, my car is parked out. Wait, 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 wait! That's my car. Now, to the third definition of life. Life is a game. A game where your friend... ...can be your fool. Never you touch a blind man's ears. Next chapter. Yes, baby, there's 100,000 in your account. That's in addition to the 30,000 I left in the drawer today. But, baby, listen. Make sure the goods are delivered in the warehouse before any payments are made, alright? You can count on me, baby. I'm sure when it comes to business. Okay. Um, I'm going out of town. I'll be back the day after tomorrow, so um, take care of yourself. Trust me. And. Have a safe trip. Goodbye. Okay, Say nothing that would be of help. Look, I know it might not be easy, but let's give it a try or something. Try here. Yeah. How long do I have to keep on trying? Hello, guys! Yeah. Hey, make it happen! Make it happen! And what are you doing here? Just like Lucifer, you know, roving around looking for whom to debar. Chill. Come in, Max. I was just in the neighborhood. I hope you're not thinking about... Moving back in here? Please. God forbid. Unlike you, Jada, some of us have moved on. We've made it happen. We've made a mega box. Just to give you a tip of the ice, babe. Have this. Hey, hey! Zina! Zina! What you got this money for? That's my name. You know what? Call all your girls. I'm taking you out to the club. Oh Everything is on me. I'm spending. I'm spending. The party starts right from here. I'll make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> 